Ever wonder why you're filled to the brim with ambitious dreams yet can't seem to detach yourself from the allure of your comfortable couch? At first glance, this might seem like a paradox, a seemingly irreconcilable internal conflict. This tug of war between your lofty sky-reaching aspirations and the warm, familiar comfort of your cosy sofa is a common occurrence. It's like you're an overflowing well of ideas, passions and dreams, each one shimmering brighter than the last. But when it comes to taking that first step, suddenly the couch feels like a magnet with an irresistible pull. Many of us are trapped in this peculiar paradox, this intricate dance between ambition and laziness. This paradox is not a reflection of a lack of motivation or discipline. Rather, it is the result of deep-seated psychological tendencies. Psychologists believe that our minds are wired to seek comfort, to avoid risks and to take the path of least resistance. This is a survival instinct, a throwback to our ancestors who had to conserve energy and avoid unnecessary risks to survive. In the modern world though, this instinct often manifests itself as a preference for the comfort of the familiar over the uncertainty of ambition. You're not alone in this. A Gallup poll found that nearly 70% of people feel disengaged from their work, often choosing to stay in their comfort zones rather than strive for more. And it's not just about work. Many people have personal dreams and ambitions that they never pursue, again choosing comfort over risk. It's as if your mind is a canvas painted with vibrant dreams, yet the brush that is supposed to bring them to life is always just out of reach, lying idle. However, there is a silver lining to this paradox. What if I told you there's a way out of it? Yes, there is a way to make your ambitions and your laziness work together harmoniously. A way to coax your mind into taking action without it feeling like an intimidating task. This secret weapon is a series of improvement hacks. These hacks are not just motivational platitudes, they are grounded in psychology and neuroscience, designed to leverage the way your brain works. These are little tweaks, simple strategies that can help you transition from dreaming to doing. They are designed to work with your mind's natural tendencies, not against them. This makes the process of taking action feel less like scaling a mountain and more like a leisurely walk in the park. So if you're someone who dreams big but feels chained to the couch, these hacks are for you. They're your secret weapon in the battle against inertia, your ticket to turning dreams into reality, ready to turn your dreams into action. Let's dive into these hacks. Introducing our ninth hack, the concept of micro goals. It's simple yet impactful. Now you may wonder what are micro goals? Well, imagine you have a massive goal akin to a towering mountain. Micro goals are like taking this mountain and breaking it down into smaller, more manageable hills. Instead of focusing on the intimidating peak, you shift your attention to the steps you need to take to reach the next hill. Let's say you dream of writing a novel this is your mountain. But where do you start? Here's where micro goals come into play. Your first micro goal could be to brainstorm your story's main characters. The next could be writing an outline of your first chapter. Progressively, these micro goals start forming the bigger picture, turning a once insurmountable task into an achievable feat. You see, the human mind tends to shy away from colossal tasks. It's our natural instinct to delay, to procrastinate. However, with micro goals, this daunting perspective shifts. It becomes less about the intimidating end goal and more about the manageable tasks at hand. On a psychological level, this method is incredibly beneficial. Each micro goal achieved brings a sense of accomplishment. This victory, however small, boosts your confidence. Proving to yourself that you can do this in turn fuels your motivation to conquer the next task, propelling you forward in your journey. So before you know it, you find yourself halfway up the mountain, then eventually standing at the peak basking in the glory of your achievement. Therefore, we must remember to make our goals bite-sized. Every small step counts. That's the undeniable power of micro goals. Moving on to hack eight, let's delve deeper into a riveting concept, using procrastination to your benefit. Yes, you heard it right. We're about to redefine the understanding of procrastination, a term typically laden with negativity. Let's script a new narrative, one that emphasizes the power of positive procrastination. To illustrate this concept, consider that you have a slew of tasks to complete, varying in importance and urgency. Now, the conventional method would have you complete the easier, less important tasks first, often resulting in the delay or avoidance of the more critical ones. But what if we rearrange this order? Enter positive procrastination. 
Positive procrastination is the strategic postponement of less important tasks to prioritise and focus on the ones that are more critical. For instance, instead of responding immediately to low-priority emails or organising your workspace, you could first tackle the more significant tasks such as meeting project deadlines or brainstorming ideas for an upcoming presentation. According to a study by Piers Steele, a leading researcher on the science of motivation and procrastination, this method increases productivity and efficiency. Steele's research suggests that when you intentionally delay less important tasks, you channel your energy and time towards the tasks that have a greater impact on your goals, thereby enhancing your output. This doesn't mean you are avoiding work or being lazy. Rather, you are employing a decidedly clever strategy to prioritise your tasks in a way that's most beneficial to you. So the next time you find yourself procrastinating, remember, not all procrastination is harmful. When harnessed correctly, it can become an invaluable instrument in your journey towards self-improvement. As productivity expert Rory Vaden says, procrastination isn't always the enemy of productivity. It can be its best friend if we use it with intentionality. So go ahead, take the reins of procrastination and use it wisely to your advantage. Unlocking Hack 7 delves deep into the profound potency of habits. You may wonder, what makes habits so powerful? Well, once they're established, habits take on a life of their own, morphing into automatic actions. They seamlessly weave themselves into the fabric of your daily routine, almost functioning on autopilot. You perform them without the need for any conscious thought. It's within this automaticity where the strength of habits truly lies. They become an effortless strategy to combat laziness by transforming favourable actions into something as natural as breathing. Let's illustrate this with the example of regular exercise. In the beginning, lacing up those running shoes might feel like a Herculean task. However, when you consistently stick to this practice, it gradually morphs into a normal part of your daily routine. You find yourself working out without sparing it a second thought. Before you even realise it, you're living a healthier life. All credit to a fitness habit you've cultivated. Or let's delve into the habit of reading, another powerful example. Sure, it might appear monotonous initially, but as you nurture this habit, you'll discover an insatiable craving for the wisdom and insight that books offer. This habit doesn't just nourish your intellect, but it also contributes significantly to your personal development. The power of habits should not be underestimated. They are more than just repetitive actions, they are the stepping stones to success. Each habit you form and nurture is like laying a brick in the foundation of a successful life. Remember, if you wish to build an empire of success, start by laying one habit brick at a time. Tech tip number six invites us to harness the power of technology. It's a phrase we often come across, there's an app for that. This phrase couldn't stand more true than ever. In an era where our smartphones are virtually extensions of our hands, it's only wise to utilise them to bolster our productivity and motivation. The app market is rife with tools specifically designed to enhance efficiency and keep us driven. Have you ever come across Forest? This unique app supports your focus by enabling you to plant a digital tree that thrives the longer your concentration on a task persists. Then there's an app engineered to help you streamline tasks and set crucial reminders. Lastly, we have Headspace, an app that directs you through exercises for mindfulness. These carefully curated apps don't merely assist in keeping you on track, but they also infuse an of enjoyment into the process. It's a reality. Our devices are an integral part of our lives. So why not transform that screen time into productive periods? Therefore, don't view technology as an adversary. Instead, embrace it and turn it into your productivity partner. Diving deeper into Hack 5, we are delving into the art of practicing mindfulness. Often associated as nothing more than a buzzword, mindfulness in reality is a profound concept that primarily revolves around being present and fully engaged. It is about being consciously aware and receptive to your immediate environment and the task at hand. When you practice mindfulness, you allow your mind to focus on what's happening right now, distancing it from distraction or judgment. This heightened sense of awareness to the present moment helps in boosting focus and motivation. How so? When you are entirely absorbed in the immediate, every detail and nuance gets amplified. You start experiencing life more vividly and intensely. You're not just skimming the surface of experiences, but truly living them. This heightened experience, in turn, fuels motivation 
as you derive more satisfaction and meaning from your actions. Mindfulness is not an exercise that demands hours of meditation or a drastic lifestyle change like becoming a monk. It's about embracing the here and now in the smallest of ways. You can practice mindfulness while savoring every bite of your meal, where you focus on the taste, texture and aroma of the food. Or it can be as simple as paying attention to your breath, feeling the air fill your lungs and then leave your body. It's about taking a few moments off from a day to assimilate your thoughts and feelings, to connect with your surroundings, to breathe, to feel, to exist fully. When you start incorporating mindfulness in your daily routine, it brings a heightened sense of awareness, offering you the clarity and focus you need to conquer your ambitions. So, mindfulness is more than just a simple tool. It's a transformative practice that can help you enrich your life. Diving deeper into Hack 4, Reward System. Have you ever contemplated the idea of implementing a reward system in your daily routine? Reward systems are not for children. They can actually be a powerful motivating tool for adults as well. Why are reward systems so effective? Well, consider a scenario. You've been investing hours upon hours into a project, grinding away without pause. Wouldn't it be gratifying to reward yourself once you've accomplished your objective? Reward systems work because they center on the human psychology of positive reinforcement. When we associate a positive outcome, a reward, with a certain behavior or task, we are more likely to repeat that behavior or task. The concept is uncomplicated, yet highly effective in maintaining high levels of motivation. It is crucial to remember that the rewards in question need not be grand or highly expensive. They can be as simple as running a warm, soothing bath after a strenuous day of exertion, or allowing yourself the pleasure of your preferred dessert once you've crossed a task off your to-do list. The main objective here is to give yourself something pleasurable to anticipate, a positive outcome that will encourage you to work harder and boost your productivity. Think of it in terms of self-administered pat on the back, a job well done. Reward systems are centered around the recognition of effort and the celebration of achievements. It's vitally important to acknowledge the hard work you put into tasks and projects, no matter how minuscule they may seem. Each accomplishment, big or small, is a step forward and deserves a moment of celebration. So the next time lethargy tries to pull you down, remember the rewarding treat that awaits you at the finish line of the task. Always remember to treat yourself because you absolutely deserve it. Now coming to hack three, find your why. Undeniably, understanding the why is the linchpin of every triumphant pursuit. You see, every prosperous endeavor doesn't just pivot on the what, the end goal, but also deeply resonates with the why, the reason for pursuing that goal. The why acts as the catalyst, the impetus, the momentum that propels you forward, even amidst challenging circumstances. Consider your goal is a distant objective. The why is your mode of transportation, the what is your guidebook, and the how is the course you follow. Without the vehicle of why, you'll find it arduous to reach your objective irrespective of how comprehensive your guidebook is or how meticulously you've planned your course. The term why can signify various aspects based on your personal motivations. For instance, your why could be the aspiration to validate something to yourself or others, a zeal that refuses to let you sleep, a vision that imparts a sense of significance to your everyday life or a belief that you ardently support. These whys are not just reasons, but they are the foundations that give shape and direction to your ambitions. Moreover, your why should deeply connect with your inner self. It is supposed to inspire you, stimulate you, and impel you to step out of your comfort zone. The why is your personal lighthouse, the guiding beacon that ensures your journey is on the right path. Understanding your why is like igniting the driving force within you. Second hack in the list is inspirational environment. The environment we immerse ourselves in plays a crucial role in molding our thoughts, actions, and overall perspective on life. Think of it this way. Just as a seed requires nutrient-rich soil to bloom, our ambition necessitates a stimulating environment to thrive. Now picture being in the company of individuals who constantly push their limits, who unremittingly chase their dreams. The energy they emanate, their relentless drive, it's infectious. It acts as fuel to your personal ambition, stirring your innate drive and propelling you to venture beyond your comfort zone. Furthermore, an inspiring environment 
is not just for fostering ambition, but also for igniting creativity. Such spaces could be anything from a room brimming with books, a tranquil corner in a busy cafe, or even a peaceful park. These environments act as catalysts for fresh ideas and can assist you in shaking off the chains of lethargy. The key takeaway here is that inspiration doesn't exclusively stem from colossal accomplishments. It can emerge from minute, everyday things that resonate with your soul. Inspiration is omnipresent. It's all about being observant and receptive to it. Let's dive into hack one, prioritizing based on value. In the bustling sphere of life, don't you often find yourself overwhelmed? The never-ending to-do list, the pile-up of tasks and responsibilities, the sneakily approaching deadlines. This is where the art of prioritizing based on value steps in. Consider your tasks as a deck of playing cards. Each card doesn't possess the same worth, does it? In the same way, not all tasks are of the same significance. Prioritizing enables you to sift through your deck of duties, zeroing in on the aces and kings first. For instance, if you have an exam tomorrow, studying for it would be your ace, while doing the laundry might be a lower ranking card. Now let's shift our focus to planning, the roadmap for your day-to-day -day activities. You wouldn't embark on an expedition without a map, right? So why launch into your day without a well-thought-out plan? Planning lets you distribute your time efficiently, making sure you aren't squandering valuable minutes on your list that don't align with your ambitions. Consider it as your GPS system for the day, guiding you smoothly through your tasks. Both prioritizing and planning serve as key tools in achieving your dreams and averting the feeling of being overwhelmed. They're like a lifesaver in the turbulent ocean of busyness. Prioritize wisely, plan effectively, and witness your dreams manifest into reality.